Mihaela Narok's workplace is the world's streets and squares. Since 2013, she's traveled to over 50 different countries photographing women. Narok's aim is to document true beauty. She's photographed women in Myanmar, Romania's capital Bucharest, Indonesia's capital Jakarta, in Finland, and in Ecuador. Woman faces, oh, that's uh, in an, an enigma for me because I still don't know what to do. I, I'm, I just let myself be impressed by the people that I see on the street. And when somebody catches my attention or I feel that there's something interesting inside her or maybe it's like a chemistry or an energy that's happening, something that you cannot control, I go and I, I try to photograph her. Three years ago, at the age of 27, Narok quit her job at a TV production company in Bucharest, took her savings and set off to pursue her dream project, the Atlas of Beauty. She's already photographed hundreds of women and documented their stories. A South African woman sells meat in a Cape Town slum. An Indian lady almost 100 years old. A German woman has overcome cancer twice. Mihaela Narok wants her pictures to visualize female calm, enthusiasm and strength. Mostly if you look on the media, you'll see, uh, let's call it an atlas of wars, uh, problems. And what I'm trying to put in the perspective that the fact that maybe let's not change the situation. Let's, let's accept it like that. It's beautiful in, in its own way. Narok uploads her pictures and the women's stories too. Her project has already received 900,000 likes on Facebook, and her Tumblr blog is one of the most popular sites on that platform. Narok funds herself mainly through crowdfunding. I'm looking for people that can, can give us hope, probably, or people that had something inspiring, or people that they really show their inner beauty. That's very important for me. I'm, I'm really trying to, to, to showcase the strength that we have. One of her most memorable journeys was to North Korea in September 2015. She wanted to take photographs of women in everyday situations in an isolated country. Because apart from its politics, little is known about North Korea. Narok managed to photograph more than 20 women, more than she'd expected. I traveled in North Korea and uh, there I was always accompanied by a guide, so my experience uh, was filtered, let's say. Um, but what I found amazing was that um, um, I was able to, to, to talk with the women and stop them on the street and photograph them for my project, which uh, I thought is very interesting. Merlin Moro! Yeah! Today, Narok is in the Italian city of Milan. Her project is demanding. She's got to be upbeat so women on the streets will open up to her. And she must appear honest and trustworthy to convince them of her project. These two women from Rome are on a trip to Milan. It's an interesting project. Yeah. It's very nice, so we were happy for that. Narok's taking pictures of many different women. So what does beauty mean to her? Beauty is extremely diverse. Beauty is in a look, in a handshake, in a smile. I don't know. It's an energy. It's around us. You just you really have to be attentive, yeah? And you have to be open to see it because it can pass you by and you'll not notice it. But beauty is everywhere. Mihaela Narok plans to continue her project until April next year, traveling to Switzerland, Japan and Mexico. And if everything goes well, her Atlas of Beauty will soon be published as a book.